because maybe you have a small space. Maybe you don't have a lot of floor space to put a plant. Maybe you don't have a good tabletop space to put a plant. So a hanging houseplant is the perfect answer. And the thing that's really nice is I don't think we realize how diverse plants are in hanging baskets. And we have a lot of different choices and anyone could fit one of your needs for sure. So for instance, all right, this is pothos. Pothos is really probably one of the most well-known plants that you put in a hanging basket and for good reason. This pothos will trail all the way down to the floor. It is super easy to prune, very low maintenance, doesn't need a lot of water and it doesn't need a lot of light. For some of you that live in an apartment with maybe small windows, that would be a perfect plant for you. Then we move on here. This is Pylea and this is Jade. I don't think we always think of Jade as trailing, but it does, and this is a really cute one. These are full bright light plants, so they could go right into a window. If you wanted to put it in a kitchen window, perfect. They would love that. They do not need a ton of water. This little Pylea needs a little bit more water than this Jade just because it's more fine, so it dries out a little bit sooner. Then move on. Okay, this is my new favorite one. I love this one. This is called Kangaroo's Paw. Actually originated in Australia, go figure. But this is a really neat plant because it's actually epiphytic. With these roots, it actually gets a lot of nutrients from the air and it is versatile. So it can go from lower light to higher, but not direct sunlight pouring in on it. And it doesn't need quite as much water as most ferns do. You just kind of want to keep it evenly moist, let it dry out a little bit in between. Moving on. I love this one. This is Wandering Jew, and it has such beautiful color. It does need a little brighter light to keep that gorgeous color. It has really neat silvery tones in it, and the underside of the leaf is even gorgeous. It has this deep plum tone to it. Really nice plant, just regular watering. Now, I'm talking about watering a lot. With hanging house plants, you do need to have drainage in them, but what you can do is take your plant to the sink or the shower and water it that way as opposed to leaving it in the spot that it is and watering it. Moving on, everybody knows about spider plant and the reason that we love this one so much, it is so great for purifying the air in your home. It takes the carbon dioxide, turns it into oxygen, a wonderful plant to have and also very versatile and easy to care for. Then, if you have a little bit of a lower light spot and you kind of like this classic vining look, English ivy, perfect plant for that. I also have Christmas cactus. This is a very easy plant, doesn't need a ton of water, but it gets these gorgeous blooms on it. And who wouldn't like a little splash of color in the corner of their room hanging there? That would be so nice. So these are some, maybe a little bit more standard hanging house plants, but I have some that really surprised me that I think are so, so neat that will handle full, full sun and they can go right into southern exposure. This is actually called a rat's tail. It's a cactus. It can handle that full sunlight, doesn't need a ton of water. But the thing that's really unique about this, which you can't see now because we're in the middle of winter, but this gets a huge bloom on it in the spring. So big, it's like a two inch flower. So it actually turns into a really showy plant. Then moving on to different kinds of tails. This is the burrow's tail. I know for a fact, because my father has this plant, this trails easily four feet down and it is stunning, a succulent, really pretty and kind of unique in a hanging basket. And then I had to show one more tail. This is the monkey's tail. It's also a 